Loneliness doesn't discriminate. Young people can be lonely, older people can be lonely. And what we often find is that younger people and older people often experience similar issues. They feel excluded from society, they don't have as much power, they struggle to have their voice heard. Loneliness and friendship, it's about how people experience loneliness during the early years of our lives, but also how young people are finding the solutions for this. We're not used to thinking about loneliness amongst young people because this is meant to be the most connected generation ever. Everyone's on Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram or whatever else they're using. So how can people who are so connected be so alone? Working with um, an excellent organisation, 42nd Street in Manchester, we developed a project to put the voice and perspective of young people at the centre of an investigation about youth loneliness. Young people uh, seem to be presenting with isolation and loneliness more than they have done previously. Janet and James from Manchester Met worked with different young people and indeed different youth workers so that they could have some really in-depth discussions where they could talk about what is quite a sensitive and difficult subject that then led to quite a detailed report that was very, very centred on the lived experiences of young people. We wanted to put young people in a situation that they could encounter loneliness in a safe and productive way. And so working with um, a game designer and an immersive theatre practitioner, we developed uh, Missing, which is an immersive theatre piece based on the idea of an escape room. I am the SIO, the Senior Investigating Officer this evening, Monica Clark. I am leading this investigation into the missing person case and our missing person is Jessica Morell. The findings of the research were fascinating and we found the conditions of loneliness in schools where we saw that the emphasis on success and aspiration was intensifying young people's sense of loneliness and failure. We noticed that children under 11 were perhaps more able to articulate their experiences of sadness and loneliness than young people in their teenage years. The main issue, I think, is this idea of dislocation, and that means you can be isolated and lonely if you're in a busy area, seem popular, have got apparently lots of friends and good family, you can still feel quite dislocated from society. I think we're now much more aware of some of those issues for young people. Over time, young people, as well as the researchers, were able to speak more openly about their experiences of loneliness and friendship. We've now written um, isolation and loneliness into our business plan as a key theme that we need to explore further. We're going to be working with the university to have a PhD student here to start to draw the lines even more strongly between creative approaches and mental health and wellbeing. 